Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. So the power supply is basically all done. I'm going to show you everything I've done so far. You got the RF deck sitting on top. I do not have the plate installed underneath the RF deck. I need to get some thicker gasket material. The stuff I bought was just garbage. So I will remove the RF deck. I'll show you what I'm talking about with that. So nice and pretty, huh? So, I thought I bought a twist lock plug, but I didn't. So, you got the four conductor SOOW cable. I'm going to cut it to length. It's still a little bit long. It'll connect here. I got the 220 going to the RF deck, uh, B negative, and a ground. We'll have another ground going from here to here. Braided strap with ring terminals, also here to here. And the high voltage cable will come out and it'll be hardwired to the RF deck and it'll go in here and I'll show how that will connect. So, got the filament connections. These are 100 amp Supercon connectors. I used the Allen set screw and I soldered them. So, I'm just really particular on my connections. I just want to make sure they're. You know, very solid. So I'll plug in, and then you got the other one. Plug in, and then the let's see the cathode returns right here. So it's got that that banana type plug. Oh, we'll have a little jumper go here to here, and then these are your filament test lead points. I'm not going to go over all this stuff. I'll I'll do that in the end. I've I've covered this stuff in the other videos. So. Okay, so I'm going to pull this off, and I'll show the, the top of the power supply section. Be right back. Okay, so this is the bottom cover for the RF deck. See the blower outlet hole? And this is a uh, fitting for the pressure interlock switch. You can see... that to the side this is the gasket material I bought it's just garbage it's garbage it's more of like a it's just it's garbage it's really thin I get some thicker stuff so the gasket will cover this entire area between these four corner markings And I'll cut the gasket material out. The gasket material is thicker than this, but not thicker than that. So it'll be right at the edge of the top of that. So, okay, I'm going to pull this off. I'm do the screws. Pull it off, and I'll show you the inside. See you soon. Okay, so here's the inside. So I vacuumed. I still need to come in here with like a little brush to get the stuff out the areas I can't get at with my vacuum nozzle. But it looks pretty good, huh? So you got the pressure interlock switch. Got the tubing coming off of it. I'm going to cut it to length and that will connect to the barb fitting I showed you before that protrudes up into the bottom of the RF deck. Got the connections on the blower. Crimped and soldered heat trunk. They connect over here, plenty of slack so you can take the cover off and place it on the side and then loosen the screws. So we'll have to do a final hardware check. I'm going to replace the hardware on this side once I have it tapped. And I have to add some slit washers here and there under these terminal strips. So we've got the, the four conductor SOW cable, the ground, the two hots, and the B negative. The reverse connected diodes. Clamp the B negative to ground. The B positive will come through this grommet. The GTO wire that carries the B positive for the plate will be within uh, like a braided material. And that braided material will have a ring terminal which will be a ground potential. So the customer will take the cover off, run it through here, connect the ground, and then the Center conductor will have a ring terminal connect underneath this screw right here, and that'll have an internal 
tooth crush wash or crush washer slash lock washer whatever underneath it so so this was a lot of work it came out nice capacitor for the, the blower and uh, yeah I set this up so if he damaged this cord somehow he can always I see there's some shavings in here I gotta like I said, I'll come back in here and vacuum again. I got a lot of other stuff to do today. It's holiday weekend, so but got most of it out. So you can always disconnect the leads and replace the cord. Same goes for the filament leads. I don't think you'd ever damage them, but you just never know. Here's that resistor I was talking about. This is the cathode return. So if that jumper were disconnected that I showed you previously, the cathode would never float above ground because it has 25. I have a box of these. It doesn't have to be this big. This is like stupid. It's like crazy overkill, but I have like over 100 of these. So there's one of these down here, one of the RF deck. So worst case scenario would be floating 50K above ground. Um, actually, no, it would be more 50 plus it'd be 70 uh 75k because you have the the uh, bias um resistor also the cutoff resistor so so that's about it so everything is nice zip tied clamped i love clamps i love zip ties i love making everything Nice and clean. So we are almost there. Almost there. So I'm going to order some new gasket material and uh, I'll have to make up those, those straps, do the high voltage wire connection inside the RF deck and get that set and uh, just uh, check everything over. Bring the plate supply up on a variac. I'll disconnect the primary, bring it up on a variac first. Make sure that I always do that. I've never had a problem, but I always just make sure. So I'll bring that up, make sure that they're everything's wired correctly. I also have to get split washers from underneath the, the nuts here. And uh, then I can start testing. I can start testing the RF deck. And then you guys can finally see some watts. Well, I really appreciate everybody being so patient and following me through this whole build. Um, like I said, I planned on getting this done prior to moving here. That's what took me longer. And after this, I will start doing 80 through 15, possibly 80 through 10 meter linears with the same tube. So... Thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And my website is amprepairguy.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.